The headline in the New York Times from May 31st, 2021 reads, More than a third of heat deaths are tied to climate change, study says. The study in question is authored by 70 scholars and appeared in the very prestigious journal Nature Climate Change. Links to papers in the New York Times and also the paper in Nature Climate Change are included at my website, guymcpherson.com, coincident with the release of this video. The sweeping new research, reads the New York Times article, was conducted by 70 researchers using data from major projects in the fields of epidemiology and climate modeling in 43 countries. It found that heat-related deaths in warm seasons were boosted by climate change by an average of 37% in a range of 20% increase to 76%. And that varied depending upon which part of the world was being studied. The planet has already warmed one degree Celsius over pre-industrial times, reads the paper in, in the New York Times, and that's an abject lie. We're a lot closer to two degrees C above the 1750 baseline than we are to one degree C. In any event, the planet has already warmed one degree Celsius over pre-industrial times, and much more warming is predicted. That's quite an admission from the New York Times. Quote, with catastrophic results if global emissions of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane can't be brought under control. End quote. I certainly agree with the catastrophic part, but clearly the New York Times is underplaying or ignoring completely the aerosol masking effect, which obviously is a strong, important component of climate change that is ignored very frequently by corporate media such as the New York, Time, New York Times. The story goes on, in many locations studies, the scientists found, quote, the attributable mortality is already on the order of dozens to hundreds of deaths each year, end quote, from heat related to climate change. That's in specific locations. Dozens to hundreds of increased human mortality numbers every year. Anna Maria Vicito Cabreri, the lead author of the new paper and a researcher at the Institute of Social and Preventative Medicine at the University of Bern in Switzerland, said that the study showed that climate change was not a problem for the future. Another stunning admission from the New York Times, quote, it's something we are facing already. We are throwing stones at ourselves. Again, an amazing admission from the New York Times. It, the story goes on. The future looks even more grim, she added. Quote, this burden will amplify. Really, we need to do something. And I've no doubt that this author and most of the other authors don't know that there is nothing to be done at the level of society except for planetary hospice. They don't know about the aerosol masking effect. I didn't know until far into a career in which I was studying climate change. A commentary published alongside the paper by Dan Mitchell, a climate scientist at the University of Bristol, and that's alongside the paper in Nature Climate Change, points out that this paper is right on, and here's a direct quote from Dan Mitchell, it's going to crack at some point. Yes, it certainly is. The system is showing the cracks right now, and it is very close to breaking. The paper itself, again titled The Burden of Heat-Related Mortality Attributable to Recent Human-Induced Climate Change from Nature Climate Change, also appeared May 31st, 2021, as I indicated, produced by 70 authors from countries around the world. So, for those of you who continually ask me when the feces hit the fan blades, for those who were unimpressed or uninterested in the paper published by Colin, Colin Raymond and colleagues on May 8th, 2020, if that didn't do the trick for you, pointing out that lethal wet bulb temperatures are here, decades of ahead of when they were expected, then maybe this will do it for you. Maybe this paper that points out climate change is bumping up human mortality by more than a third on average around the world 
and much higher levels than that in specific locations. Maybe this will do the trick. At the very least, I can hope, dream, wish, delude myself with so many people asking me, when does it get important? People are dying in droves. It's already important. Remember, at the edge of extinction, only love remains. Thank you.